I'm Miriam Bloom, and today is March 10th, uh, 2021, and I'm here interviewing Beth Esser and Derek Peterson about their project as part of the City of Venona Sustainability Champions Program. Can you give us a brief description of your sustainability project? Sure. Um, so I would say we've done both projects with energy efficiency and renewable energy. So our energy efficiency projects have included doing a home energy audit where we um, were told we needed to increase our insulation in our attic and in our sidewalls of our house. Our house is um, built in 1953. Yeah, so it's pretty old and there was really no insulation in the attic and not essential uh, or not enough insulation in the sidewalls. So we had those projects done and we also did a couple other little things like sealing our front door and replacing our back door um, to have better seals around those areas too. Um, so those were energy efficiency projects. Another um, thing we've done with renewable energy is our house isn't a good site for solar. As our other houses in Monona, we have very large trees in our neighborhood and we love them, but they block the sun um, for us to be able to be a good site for solar on our roof. So what we did instead is through MG&E, our local utility, we um, have applied to offset our usage 100% through their Green Power Tomorrow program and their shared solar program. Now we can't actually control what is coming through the wires to our house. Um, mg &E has fossil fuels in their mixed um, electric generation mix, so we still get fossil fuels. But we are, we are offsetting that with our enrollment in those programs. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have um, two vehicles. One is a Prius hybrid vehicle, and then we have a plug-in hybrid electric minivan, a Chrysler Pacifica. Um, and so that is awesome because it really runs on electricity only. When did you start working on those projects and how long did it take you to complete them? Yeah, I think for the, for the energy efficiency projects that Beth mentioned around the insulation, um, I, think, I think it was like probably a year or two after we moved in. Um, Within the first year. Yeah, maybe, yeah. So probably like around 2000, like late 2012 um, and they it was pretty it was actually didn't take them very long so we hired out uh, a, a local contracting company that specializes in, in insulation installation and so they they came in and I think in one day we were able to like um, completely you know fill the attic with with insulation and then um, I think later maybe a couple months later we did the sidewalls and that took them a couple of days and in that project they actually have to like take off the small part of the siding, like drill a hole in the side of our house, fill it with insulation and then reseal all of that. So that took them a little bit longer, but still, um, you know, probably a couple of days worth of their work. Uh, so yeah, it, it was mostly just a little bit of research and then finding the contractor to work with. We've been subscribers to mg &E's Green Power Tomorrow program for a, a very long time. That program's been around a long time. Mm -hmm. um, when mg &E announced their shared solar project, we signed up right away. And so I think that started in 2015. Um, and we recently were allowed to increase our enrollment, like our percentage of power that we get from that even more um, just last year in 2020. Are there any resources or advice that you could share for people who are interested in similar projects? One of the best first steps I would say is to just look up home energy auditors. Um, they're really, that, that just gave us like kind of a comprehensive understanding of mm -hmm. our home's energy use mm -hmm. and ways that we could improve our energy efficiency. So that's a really good first step. Um, I think uh, another step if if people are really interested in the renewable energy is to um, connect with Renew Wisconsin. Full disclosure, I am on the board of directors for Renew Wisconsin, but they're a great local resource and they run a program called the Maddie Sun Program, which this year is going to be um, not just Madison residents, but other um, residents in Dane County as well. 
Um, and so they have great resources, can really connect people with um, you know, reliable and um, trustworthy solar installers, mm -hmm. somebody that's going to come out and you know, really be honest and tell you whether your house is a good site for solar or not. Um, so I think those are good resources. I think MG&E can be a good resource as well um, for energy efficiency and uh, mm -hmm. renewable energy ideas. And then finally, focus on energy. I mean, that's one of the things that it, it is economically a great thing in focus on energy has. Um, what is focus on energy? Focus on energy is like our state's um, like you can get incentive or tax rebates and things like mm -hmm. that for doing um, renewable energy and energy efficiency projects. And, and mm -hmm. Focus on Energy is the program that runs all of that in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. Our utilities are required to like support Focus on Energy mm -hmm. for their own energy efficiency efforts that they have to meet. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for taking the time to speak with me. Those are all really great projects and I appreciated learning more about them. Thank you, Miriam. Thank you, Miriam. Thank you.